SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2022 adds new capabilities that improve performance, simplify analysis setup, and increase your simulation accuracy. A challenge in this design is that the internal frame has a large number of bonded contacts. Solve time for this simulation is now more than 25% faster than it was in last year's release. The Nemo's hatch has a special hand wheel that requires 500 newtons to engage the latch figures properly. This means that anyone that would be a passenger should be able to secure the craft properly. Of course, we'll turn to a tried and true method of utilizing cyclic symmetry to improve the solve time. This has been around for a while. But a new function here will allow us to replace this complex component with a virtual connector. Enter the linkage rod. The inputs are pretty simple. You can use cylindrical faces or vertices to represent the rod ends, and end conditions can be defined as fully rigid, pivotal, or spherical. For this type of action, we'll select cylindrical faces and spherical end conditions to get the proper motion. To further up the realism, we can select from several different cross-sectional shapes and the particular cross-section size. SOLIDWORKS simulation now defaults to the blended curvature measure. This means it'll now accept mesh control values outside the maximum or minimum global size ranges. That means you can refine or coarsen mesh in any regions with no limitations. This gets us closer to the optimum balance of performance and accuracy. Using known standards, we'll select a torque value representative of the greatest portion of the population based on standard charts. Now in this case, since we're separating the simulation into three, we'll do that with the load as well. Once we've run the simulation, we can examine the shear, axial, and bending loads of the virtual linkage rod we created. As well as the contact reaction forces between the latch finger and the flange face itself. As we go ahead and multiply this result by three, we find that it's less than the 500 Newton requirement that we started with. This simply isn't going to work. Let's change the reaction moment by changing the configuration of the latch finger and then rerun the simulation. Looking at the results, that simple change resulted in a 38% increase in force and will do the job as designed. This is the essence of what SOLIDWORKS simulation and the designing engineer is all about. Increased performance and solution accuracy is always a welcome addition to SOLIDWORKS simulation.